Hey there, Pioneer people, Brian J. Cook, and today we're playing Neoform. This decklist is a 5-0 decklist dump from Bomb Ol Riot. This is not my decklist. This is their exact 75. I'm playing it today. And the reason that I'm interested in playing it is that it's a Neoform deck. And last week here on this very channel, I uploaded a Neoform deck that went bananas. You can check that video out in the card above. That video broke this channel's personal best record of 5,000 views in the first 24 hours, which just makes me so so happy i decided hey i'm interested in playing another neoform deck for you all because you loved it so much that and this deck honestly just looks really sweet so the idea behind the other neoform deck was that you wanted to play a free green creature to, to neoform away on the first turn you would pitch two green cards from your hand instead of playing its normal cost you would uh, cast this for its alternative mana cost, and then you would sacrifice it. This deck doesn't have that. That said, what we do have is Delph Creature. So we have Tassiger the Golden Fang, which you can remove five cards from your graveyard instead of paying the five generic mana, and then a single black mana, or you can play Hooting Mandrills, which once again, you remove five cards from your graveyard to delve them away, and then for one green mana, you can Hooting Mandrills. From there, you play Neoform into... I'm not going to be able to pronounce this card. Malevo, I can't say that. Lorehold, the dragon, the elder dragon, okay? I can't talk or speak. Please forgive me. Uh, that said, this card is really, really sweet. So, all right. So you've accomplished your combo. You played Tassiger. You new formed it away. You get this dragon. Well, then you look at the top seven cards of your library whenever this creature attacks, and then you can cast an instant or sorcery from them, put the rest in the bottom in a random order. Well, what we're looking to do is hit Karn's Temporal Sundering or part the Water Veil. What this does for us is it allows us to take an extra turn. And with this, it operates a little bit like the historic deck from Magic Online Arena, where you want to keep on hitting these time lock effects to keep on taking extra turns with our Elder Dragon. So basically you just attack them to death over and over with your dragon. But here's the cool part in my opinion. You have Otherworldly Gaze, Contingency Plan, and Scheming to set up the top of your deck for the Elder Dragon once it's in play. So that way you can make sure that you keep on hitting these time lock effects, which I think is really, really helpful. And then in the sideboard, we have things like Leyline of Sanctity, <coughs> excuse me, to protect us from discard spells and stuff like that. Uh, Stern Dismissal for effects like Rest in Peace or, you know, uh, it's probably pretty useful against Winota. It bounces not only Winota, but the uh, Archon of Amiria or Rest in Peace. Swan Songs for blue decks. Uh, Hermit's also for blue decks, obviously Dispute is, and I think Abrupt Decay is just sort of a generic catch-all. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, comments, whatever, put those down below. I'm sorry that I'm awful at talking today. Please forgive me. Hopefully this video goes well. But uh, that's what I've got for the intro. That's the deck tech. We are casting Neoform, and we're putting an Elder Dragon onto the battlefield and looking to take a whole bunch of extra turns. That is the point of this deck. This is Pioneer Neoform. See you in match number one. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts.
Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Hey there, Brian Cook, and we're in match number 1. We're on the draw, we've opened up Neoform lands and a card that puts things to our graveyard. This is going to be a snap keep for me. What we would really, really like to find now is just any single Delve creature. We have eight Delve creatures in our deck. We should be able to make this work. Okay, we hit a um, a Time Walk effect. Didn't really need that here. So we're going to pass the turn. It looks like we could be facing the Lotus Field deck by the looks of it. Okay, double Botanical Sanctum. It is in fact Lotus Field. All right, good start for them. Draw. Another time walk effect. All right, we're looking for that creature here. We found the creature. And we want to keep this, so we're going to click OK, and then this goes on top. So we have a turn three Neo form. The Seiju, draw. So it's bad news bears if our opponent has the Ottawara, but I don't know what that does and I refuse to play around it, right? That's the joke. You just uh, never respect the things that beat you or something. Okay, Neoform. We have two of the time walks in our hand, which is unfortunate. Okay, attempt to get in there. They have it. They have the Ottawara, no! <laughs> Darn. Okay, we do have another Neoform and another Contingency Plan, but it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get there. Alright, so it looks like they have Scrying into Stage here. So they had their one of... By the way, Ottawa is a one of in this deck, so they had the one of, and now they have two cards in hand. Um, So we'll cast another Contingency Plan. And there's another Tassiger, but... I'm afraid that we're out at this point. Oh, geez. They just happen to have the Ottawara. So brutal. I have to think that we're dead here. They have two cards in hand going up to three. All right. Th this is a long pause. Do you not have it? Dark Petition. Okay. That was not with uh, Spell Mastery. So is this a petition with Mastery? It is. So now they go up to five mana. They can get another Strings into the, uh, what is it called? Ultimatum. So we are dead. Um... I don't think it matters. I could give them pure Omni, but they have two mana floating. We're just dead. Okay. Unfortunate. We uh, we got Ottawara. They had the one of. But that's fine. We can board in our Swan Songs here in the Mystical Dispute. The question is what to board out. Um, I think you could probably get rid of these Solve the Equations. I think they're a little bit clunky. And then I think that we can skim on Consider. Let's try it out. On the play for game number two. Um, this is just a mulligan. I think that this is fine. We need to put one of these time walks on the bottom. This hand is obviously not as good as our first hand. No Neoform. Um, and we don't have a Delve creature. Draw. Alright, well there's the Neoform, that's good. 
Let's play the contingency plan. I think we're supposed to just mill all of these. Or maybe do I keep a land? All right, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the land. And then pass. Okay, sort of a slow opening for them. Land. Scheming. All right, we have to keep this. This is our other dragon, so we have to keep that. Um, hmm. Guess we can mill this, and then I think I want to just keep the rest. I don't know if that's crazy or not. Pass the turn. Sylvan Scrying, you got it. And they're just representing this game having Mystical Dispute. I don't know if they actually have it or not, but part of me wonders if I should wait for Dispute backup before I cast this Neoform. And they picked up Atawara. That's interesting. Draw. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to just go for it then if that's the case. Because next turn they'll have Atawara. Okay, most of us aren't playing Dispute anymore, so let's see. Okay. Attack. Alright, so the trigger's on the stack. Do we hit the time walk? We did. Uh, we can cast Part the Water Veil. Okay, so now we get to untap, draw. We did not hit a setup card. So we'll attack again. We need to hit another time walk here. Uh, we did. We hit the Karn's Temporal Sundering. Does this target a player? All right, so we're going to target us and then target nothing. So now we get an extra turn. Breeding pool. Okay, so it looks like we won game number two. So game number three, we're on the draw. I don't think we're supposed to change anything here. I'm just going to leave it. This hand seems pretty good to me. Keep. Turn one temple. Dasiger, we don't have a black source, but it's still decent. And another temple. Grazer. That's a black source. Uh, so the question is, do we want to leave open mana for like a swan song for their search effect? Or do we just want to cast this scheming? I think I'm just going to scheme. And I'm going to mill everything, I think. Or maybe I could leave back the dispute, I guess. No, I'm just going to mill everything. I have double swan, so I don't need three protection spells. And they have the sylvan scrying. You got it. Four cards in hand. Draw Mandrills. Go to 16 and let's contingency plan. And there's the Neo form. Um, all right, so I'm going to put Neo form on top. And I could delve here, but I think I'm just going to pass. Because it, there is a world where our opponent kills us right now, and I don't want that to happen, so. Okay. Ouch. Go to 14. The Mandrills. Our opponent could have an Atawara here, which would stink. Because we can't actually cast our dragon, which means we're on the beatdown plan, which I don't think is going to be very good. Attempt a Neoform. 
They have three cards in hand. All Swan Song. They're going to copy stage. Neoform. Get the dragon. Go to combat. And let's hit a time walk, please. We did hit time walk. Burns temporal sundering. It will target us. And then bounce the bird. Okay. Draw. Um, let's cast this consider, I guess. We'll mill that. Another Neoform. Doesn't do anything here. Uh, but let's cast the Tassiger. And let's get in there. We'll take the Karns, Temporal, whatever it's called. Bounce the Grazer. And this should be lethal now. Our opponent says, good games, good games to our opponent. Look at that. We're 1-0. Love to see it. Um, yeah, this deck's sweet. I love it already. <laughs> if you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two. Once again, we're neoforming. I'm already in love. This deck is so sweet. I love it. And it looks pretty affordable to me. I don't know how much the dragon is, but most of this deck seems pretty reasonable. Uh, which is really sweet. I might actually buy this deck for the next time I play Pioneer. We'll see. Uh, but here we have the Mandrills. We have, you know, a lot of dig. We just have to find the Neoform. This seems like an easy snap keep to me. Okay, so... Ouch. Pass the turn. I always like leading on the blue green lands uh, just because my username is Bryant underscore cook and people are going to think that I'm on Lotus Field combo when in reality we're putting big angry dragons into play. Ketria Triome, okay. And step, let's cast this otherworldly gaze and we found the Neoform. Hell yeah. Neoform goes on top. Draw. Let's play the path and scheming. Okay, and then we'll put these two on top. I don't like milling the time walks because you want to keep your time walk density high for your deck. So I don't want to just mill them for the sake of milling them. And here they have counter spell mana open. So I'm not sure if I love just jamming in. Oh, I guess I can't. Uh, I didn't think about that. I don't have green green. I could have played that better had I realized. All right, Hooting Mandrills. And that resolved. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pass the turn and on their unstep flashback, the other worldly gaze. I think one thing that could be nice in the main deck is playing some Thought Seizes. Um... Like, we are a black deck. I don't know if I love to solve the equations anyway, but Thoughtseize gives you some information. It protects your dragon. I don't know. It just seems decent. Okay, we're on our end step. Opponent doing something. Opt. You got it. Like, as the way that I'm looking at this main deck right now is it's really difficult for us to beat a single counter spell, and your deck should be built to get around that. Like right now, you just have to jam into counter spells, and that doesn't feel really good. And the cost of losing solve the equation, in my opinion, is pretty small. Chain to the rocks. That's just mean. Are you really the uh, the ascendancy deck? I think they are. I think that this is ascendancy. It is. Okay, so we will otherworldly gaze. We hit the Tassiger. Um, we want the Tassiger, but I'm short of casting it. Draw. So we have to play 
scheming here. Mill these. And then I'm going to leave these on top. Actually, I should wait. I can play Tassiger into Neoform next turn and not risk another chain to the rocks. That would just be better. Okay. And they're just passing. Ouch. Tassiger the Golden Fang. I guess I shouldn't remove the uh, the other early gaze. Small play mistakes. Don't want to make those. All right, Tassiger on the stack. I guess it might not be. Um... Usually, Ascendancy plays Gigantha, and they didn't reveal one. Am I allowed to attack? Nope, I'm getting uh, Ottawaard. Ah, every time. Okay. We didn't mill the other dragon, did we? No, okay. And there's the Ascendancy. Am I dead? Consider. What are they playing that they weren't running Gigantha for? Maybe like dig through time? Narset. Okay. Sure. Priory impulse. Upkeep. Let's flash back the other worldly gaze. We will keep the mandrel. Draw. And now we need to find Neoform. Contingency plan. No Neoform here. Pass the turn. We're roughly halfway through our deck at this point. All right, I will concede to the Sylvan Scrying. We know that they have an expressive iteration. I've seen enough. Okay, so Ottawara has gotten us twice so far. That's sort of a bummer. All right, Swan Song. And once again, the Mystical Dispute. Uh, I guess we could bring in Abrupt Decay. I don't know how good it actually is, but it does get rid of Ascendancy and Chain of the Rocks, which I think is interesting. Get rid of these solve the equations. Could also just do stern dismissal, maybe. Is that better than consider, though? Because at this point, the card that I would be cutting is consider. So would we rather have abrupt decay in our deck or consider? Uh, whoop, I did not mean to target my lands. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to board out consider for the decays, I think. Let's try this out. On the play for game number two versus Jeskai Ascendancy. Here we have the Tassiger. We have a couple scheming effects. Unfortunately, we have double time walk in hand. I can't actually cast the Tassiger. Uh, should I mulligan this? I think I'm going to. Uh, let's go to five. All right, so we'll keep this bottom, the time walk effect, and... Mandrills number two. Sanctum, and I'm just going to main phase this other whirly gaze. We need to find Neoform. I don't need any of this. Okay. Land, draw. Ouch. Come on, Neoform. No Neoform. Um, going to mill all of these, I think. Pass. Land number two. And they're representing having mystical dispute here. Draw. We're just going to pass another end set flashback and another worldly gaze. We're 25% of the way through our dock at this point. We just have to find that Neoform. Land three and they're passing. I think we just mill these. Draw. 
Okay, um, let's play the contingency plan. There's a Neo form. Um, and a lot of time lock effects. <laughs> okay, so. We'll stack it like that and pass the turn. I mean, we're dead to a light breeze here. I think this deck should be playing Thoughtseize. And our opponent is not doing a single thing. All right, I'm going to just draw and pass. I think I'm going to use these uh, otherworldly gazes in our graveyard to help dig for protection. I did board in a bunch of Swan Song, but I've also milled one of them. My fear here is that I'm about to mill like triple time lock effect. And if we ever do get the dragon in play, uh, I'm not going to have any time locks left. And then flashback this otherworldly gaze as well. All right, so we have double swan song. Um, I think I keep all of these. So we can go in with Swan Song back up. Um, but if they have Ottawara, it just hurts a lot. All right, we'll cast the Hooting Mandrills. Neoform. Uh, they just have Ottawara. <laughs> okay. Can't counter that. Uh, that's a bummer. Usually out of war is like a singleton in these decks, but I just keep on getting punished. We'll give them a swan. We've been disputed. Okay, like there's just no chance we win from here. All right, I'm going to pick this one up. So we're one and one, not the end of the world. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number three, we're on the draw. This hand seems reasonable. We have turn one, dig effect into turn two, dig effect. So we're looking for land three and then neo form. It looks like we're facing the mono green ramp deck, which should not have any interaction for us. All right, so solve the equation technically is a long uh, term way of getting neo form, but I de like I don't think that card should be in the deck. Like those two cards need to go. Uh, two thought sees is right there. All right, and another Oath of Nyssa. Like, this card's just so slow. We don't want to be playing this. And another Forest, okay. Let's cast this other Whirly Gaze. And we found Neoform. Um, I'll mill the Dragon, why not? I'm going to keep both of these. Okay, draw. And then we'll play the contingency plan. And another Neo form. Um, need one of these. All right, so we'll put the land on top and pass the turn. So next turn, we have a big angry dragon entering the battlefield. That's a Karn. Tormod script. Yep. 
And you got it. That's unfortunate. Okay. So I guess we'll solve the equation to shuffle away this other neoform. And... If I take otherworldly gaze and I draw land, that's actually enough to win next turn. But I have to draw an untapped land. So I... Um, okay, I can't do it in my upkeep because I would need all three cards to be milled off the otherworldly gaze. Graft Digger's Cage. Oh. All right, so it looks like we just lost the game. I did not consider Graft Digger's Cage uh, as a Karn target. So we're dead. Uh, our deck has no answer to Graft Digger's Cage in the main deck. So, yeah, not my list. Uh, don't yell at me. But, yeah, this deck doesn't play a single copy of Beseju or Atawara. Nothing. Uh, there's no interaction at all in the main deck. Once again, not my deck list. So that is one potential weakness that we just found. But let's focus on what we can do instead of what we can't do. And what we can do is bring in Abrupt Decay to answer those effects. Uh, so I'm interested in that. We could bring in Leyline just for the Tormod script effect. I don't think that's worth it, though. Um, let's get these solves out of here. We don't want that in our deck. Um... Sure. I mean, do we want these ley line? Probably not. I'm just going to submit this. On the play. Nope. Yeah, this hand's really good. Okay, so we'll keep this and get rid of the Tassiger. The reason we're getting rid of Tassiger is I have no black lands, but here we have three green lands, which means I can Hooting Mandrills on curve. Okay, pass. Turn one elf. Sanctum. And let's cast the scheming. We're just going to mill all of this stuff. I guess I could keep a neoform. Let's keep the neoform. Just in case we need to go off again. I don't know. Seems sort of free here. Wolf Willow Haven. And another Haven, okay. Draw. Ouch, we go to 18. The Mandrills. We're one time walk down, so we have seven time walks in our deck. Get the Dragon. So you have seven looks at seven time walks. I don't know what the math is, but I feel like it's fairly high. And we hit. Okay, so we'll cast time walk. Target us. Bounce this Haven. Okay. And our opponent is conceded. Nice. All right. Just like we drew it up. Um, I could actually board and stern dismissal to slow our opponents down. I don't hate that. Because if we can, like, bounce a mana dork and put them off curve, maybe they can't get to Karn on curve. Wow, this hand's good. Keep. We have to find a Delve creature, but otherwise this hand's great. Okay, turn one Llanowar Elf. Draw. There's our Delve creature. And I'm just going to bounce the uh, the Llanowar. Keep you off curve. Turn one. Turn two Elf, my bad. Okay, so I'm going to take an ouch here, cast this otherworldly gaze. We're just going to, no matter what, mill all three into our uh, Hooting Mandrills. The man has hit the battlefield. I think it's going to be tough for our opponent here to get up to Karn into Cage. Uh, they just don't have the mana. He picked up a forest off of the Oath. And another Oath of Nyssa. Cavalier of Thorns into another Llanowar Elf. All right, it's Neoform time. Cast the Neo. Get the Dragon. 
get in there. Get seven looks at seven time walks. We missed. Oh my, we missed. Um. Okay, so I think we want to abrupt decay an elf. Keep them off mana. That's not good. Or I'm sorry, was it six time walks? Because I drew the part. Yeah, it was seven looks at six time walks. I'm sorry. I lied to you. I would never lie to you intentionally. So now they have five mana. We know that they have a Cavalier of Thorns in hand. And if you're unfamiliar, this is Cavalier of Thorns. They have played Cavalier of Thorns, which dies to our dragon for what it's worth. All right, so we get another look with uh, the Elder Dragon for another time walk. Okay, that's actually really good. And we'll keep part the water veil on top. Attack. Look at the cards. Uh, is that a Karn? The Karn one bounces the... Yeah, okay. Let's bounce the Cavalier. And our opponent concedes. All right, well, that was fast. We are now two and one. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number four with Neoform on the play. Uh, we've hit Neoform, we have the Tassigers, but not a whole else going on. I think you're supposed to ship this, but I'm honestly not sure. I think if you didn't have the dragon, you probably could, but I think it's just too slow. So we can bottom dragon once again. Uh, <laughs> and then we have to figure out if this is worth it. Because we have the two important parts. All right, I'm gonna keep and bottom the dragon. Maybe I should shift this down to five. I'm not sure. Why don't I just draw one of the eight scheming effects on curve? That seems like something that would be good for me. Basic forest into elf. Sure, draw. Um, that leaves me one mana short. All right, so we're going to pass. The mono green ramp deck. This is a nightmare matchup for the Lotus Field deck. Just because they ramp into damping spheres and you just never win. All right, they have three cards in hand. We'll play the other really gaze. We're just going to mill all of these. Draw. Watery Grave. I'm one mana short. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is just put Tassig around to the battlefield. We can keep the otherworldly gaze around. Okay, please uh, don't cage me. Nykthos means that they're going to have a lot of mana this turn. Both of Nyssa. Forest. They've already played their land. So they have two unknown cards that they can play here. Okay, five mana, six mana. Storm the Festival. Kiora and a land. So they could untap Nykthos here, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, so instead they untap Wolf Willow Haven. So they have basic force as their last card in their hand. We drew another time walk effect, not ideal. All right, let's uh, put the dragon on the table. Rar. Triggers. And once again, we have missed the uh, the time walk. Cast this consider, I guess. 
Mel. And our opponent is getting another turn. Uh, they can flash back this storm, though, whatever it's called, for 10 mana. Could be pretty bad for us. All right, so two mana. They cast another Wolf Willow Haven. And now they can activate Nykthos and flash back the storm of the festival. Yep, so much mana. Maybe I was supposed to attack the Hero last turn? I mean, they would have had 10 mana anyway. Right? Or am I wrong? Uh, we knew that they had a forest, so two, three, five. Okay, I guess I, they would have only had eight mana. Or nine mana, I'm sorry, I wasn't counting that. But I don't think these really matter that much. I guess they get to draw cards off them coming into play, so that, that's relevant. They've played a Besaju. Another Cavalier of Thorns. So they'll draw a card off the Kiora. So real downside is if I don't hit Karn's Temporal Sundering, they can double block and kill my dragon. Um, Not ideal. Tapping Nykthos for a whole lot of green mana here. Karn with 12 mana floating. Yikes. What can they get for 12 mana? Does Cage stop this dragon? Uh, it might. I'm not sure. It doesn't say to exile that card, so I'm not sure. I think Cage might actually stop it. I guess I went wrong by not attacking the Kiora. Look at the top seven of your library. You may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. So I think you're casting it from your library, which cage would stop. Pestilent Cauldron? What is that? Gonna make me read. Uh, discard a card. Creates a 1-1 black and green crest pest creature token with when this dies, you gain one. Each opponent mills cards equal to the number of life you've gained this turn. Exile four cards from a single graveyard. Draw a card. Return target creature, land, or planeswalker from your graveyard. Each player gains four. Exile this. So now they have a third Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, I don't think I can win. I think I am hard locked out of the game with double Cavalier, or with triple Cavalier. And another Karn. Wow. They went from being hellbent to all of this. It's pretty wild. Um, we're just super dead. All right, I'm going to pick it up. We are. We didn't win this game. <laughs> wow. All right. So that was only game number one, though. Let's bring in the stern dismissals and the decays. Board out these considers. And these solve the equations. I don't know. Like, I really... I know that I've said it like 12 times this video. This deck is starving for Thoughtseize. Like, just to... One, it can fill the graveyard. So you Thoughtseize on turn one. It gives you turn one plays. Because, like, really, you have Consider and other really gays. Like, you're kind of lacking a little bit in that department. Um, and then on top of that, it protects your combo. You can even Thoughtseize yourself to increase cards for uh delve too so i think it just makes a lot of sense like you could probably play like two main two board um you keep this i'm gonna get punished but i'll keep it what's going to happen is i am never going to find neoform okay everyone elf and other worldly gaze mill everything Okay, draw another hoot. Um, I think I want to flashback the other really gaze here. I don't think you're supposed to uh, delve it away. Three lands. Both of Nyssa. Karn the Great Creator. That's very scary. 
Okay, we'll flash back this otherworldly gaze. All right, Dak, please, can I have a neoform off the top rope? I believe in you. But you didn't believe in me. All right. Um, I guess we just put big dumb idiots onto the table, so... Guess we want mandrills because mandrills tramples over chump blockers. So they can play Karn here. There it is. Draft Digger's Cage. Yep. Draw. So we'll start off by attacking Karn. And then, ouch. I don't know if it's better to have Tassiger or... It's probably better to have Tassiger, actually, because we can pay the cost on Tassiger. Pass. Kiora. Three green for the old growth troll. So that sort of uh, means that we can't attack with our hoot. Sure. Draw. Scheming. Whoops, I have to pay a blue. Don't really need any of this. Play another Mandrills. Pass the turn. I mean, I could double attack, but like I it's not a good trade if I attack here. Because they double block and then I lose my Tassiger. Okay. Oh no, I have an elk. I guess there's like this crazy world out there where we could theoretically look at hard casting our dragon for seven mana, but we would need double mana confluence. Um, I've milled two mana confluence. That's probably off the table. And a Kern the Great Creator. Seems good. We're so dead. Okay, Karn. We picked up a God Pharaoh statue. Sure. Draw. I guess we'll cast a contingency plan. We found the Neoform, but the problem with the, like the situation we're in, we have to draw Neoform into Abrupt Decay with our opponent developing their board. They have an active Karn and a bunch of mana. Um, honestly, I think I'm just gonna call it here. Uh, so we are now two and two. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match, we're on the play with, uh, sorry, not modern, Pioneer Neoform. Uh, this hand is trash, we're going to ship it. Uh, this hand is not playable either, down to five. Okay, I think we're going to keep this. We'll bottom double time walk, and uh, let's see how it goes. So we have turn one, consider, and to turn two, scheming. So if we hit land neoform, this is still a turn three. Sanctum pass. Inspiring vantage, okay. All right, it's the Boros Prowess deck. They can go to the graveyard. All right, so we hit land three. We just have to find Neoform now. Come on, scheming, please hit Neo. Ding! Okay, so we can definitely mill these. I'm going to keep the time lock. This is a turn three. I mean, we have to hit the time walk off the dragon, but this is a turn three Neo form on a mold of five. Swift Spear and another Swift Spear. So we'll take three. Draw. 
All right, tap for green. We'll play the Hoots. Hoots has been cast. And now the Neoform. Go get the dragon. Aya. Time lock. Time lock. Target us. And we'll bounce the favorite hoplite. Okay, so they're at 14. Draw. We did not hit the uh, the time or a spell to set up the time lock, so we'll attack again. That's a bummer. No time lock. Okay, so we'll take the consider. Maybe I shouldn't have played my land yet. That might have been a mistake. All right, and I'm just going to pass. I can cast this otherworldly gaze to set up for next turn. This deck's really powerful, though. I like it a lot. I just think that it needs a little bit of refining. Like, the fact that your deck just can't beat a counterspell in game one, I think, is a big issue. Soul Scar Mage, sure. Okay, so I'm just going to cast this other Whirly Gaze now because I'm lazy. Okay, we're going to keep all these. I will gladly take whatever you're throwing. I'm not even going to bother blocking. I know that I could. Doesn't matter. All right. So I'm going to attack. Karn's Temporal, whatever. Bounce this. And our opponent is conceded. Whew. That's game number one. So once again, we are getting rid of these solve the equations. But I far the worst card in this stack. Not even close. Uh, Stern Dismissal seems like a no-brainer here. Uh, and then I think we could just take out, like, a Consider. Maybe we want the Abrupt Decays in case they have something like Cage in the board or Rest in Peace. Not sure if that, uh, like, do we want Abrupt Decay? Like, those could be Considers. They could also be Swan Songs. Because Swan Song counters the Pump Spells. Um, it could counter, like, a Rest in Peace. I'm not sure. But I think I'm just going to try out the Abrupt Decays, at least in game number two. All right, time for game two. We've opened up the Blooming Marsh, but no other lands. I'm going to Mulligan. Neoform, one land. Um, I think I'm going to try this because we have the Otherworldly Gaze to potentially hit the second land. Opponent on five. Den of the Bugbear into Swiss Beer. Going to 19. Draw. Ouch. Pass. Battlefield Forge. They have three cards. Titan Strength. Love it. They could have cast that in their upkeep to get the Scry Equity. Uh, they chose not to. And Soul Scar Mage, one card in the opponent's hand. We will otherworldly gaze and we hit the land. Put that on top. We go to 10 here. I think I'm just going to pass. So I can hold up Abrupt Decay to buy a little bit of time. Uh, another thing I'm really interested in is if we Abrupt Decay something and then I draw a land. Ooh, there's the rest in peace. That hurts. Um, yikes. Okay. So now I have to blow up the rest in peace. We go to six. So I think I just have to hope that our opponent doesn't draw anything, like that their hand just like doesn't pump and kill me. All right, cast this. Uh, we'll keep the land because the land allows for a win next turn. Please don't kill me, opponent. I'm asking you nicely to not murder me. So they have one card in hand plus their draw step. Do you have six damage? No! We get to untap. Soul Scar Mage and pass. Alright, so it's worth noting I have to play this as a green source. Okay. 
We will keep the otherworldly gaze in the graveyard. It is time to neoform. Put a big angry dragon onto the battlefield. Rar. Aya. Triggers. We did hit a time walk. So what's nice about that is we have scheming to set up another turn. Same thing with this uh, otherworldly gaze in the graveyard. So it's pretty likely that we have won. Draw. So now we can scheming. Keep the part of the water veil there. Put that on top. Attack. Okay, cast the part of the water veil. And that should do it because next turn our opponent takes another six. So you could uh, try to like cast the otherworldly gaze here, but what if for some reason our opponent had a one mana deal three burn spell? Um, I don't know what it would be. I guess it could be like a wizard's lightning uh, and you could get punished for that. So that's the reason not to tap the mana confluence there. So we finished three and two. Uh, not a bad record. So this is what we played today. In between match four and five, I came up with my own list, uh, and that would be this here. So it's a little bit different. We have four main deck Thoughtseize, two, over two consider. I'm sorry, yeah, over two consider, and then over two solve the equation. I feel like consider outside of solve the equation was the weakest slot in the deck. Otherworldly gaze really overperformed. The eight uh, plannings or schemings, whatever you like to call them, seemed to great to me. Um, so then that really left consider in the, um, what is it called? I, I've just said it this entire video, solve the equation being the worst cards. So then if you're going to play four thought season in the main deck, I think you have to reevaluate your plans a little bit. So you could also do like a three, three split if you want, and then not play this necromentia. You could do three, consider three thought season. I think that's fine as well. Um, but at least for now, this is what I'm thinking. So if you're going to play thought season, you need more initial block sources. So I want more blooming marshes instead of the pathways. And then a single copy of besage you just to give you a little bit of outs. But what I like about Besage is that it works with a card I added into the sideboard, Wither Bloom Command. This is not Abrupt Decay, this is Wither Bloom Command. Uh, it's better in a lot of the aggro matchups, like what we just faced, it can blow up a creature and a uh, rest in peace. And then the Necromancia, I don't think we actually need this, but I was thinking about it. I feel like you probably want something for Lotus Field combo. You're not really a deck that can support Alpine Moon. You have four red sources with Mana Confluence, but that's it. So I think it's probably worth considering Necromancia. You can also cast it off the Dragon, which is sort of sweet. Uh, and then I went up one Ley Line. We didn't face any dedicated black decks, but there's tons of them in this format. So um, the thing that I really like about Witherbloom Command is that it... It's an answer that also helps your primary game plan. It mills you, and then you can return the Besage you if you want, or it hits land number three for your turn three combo. So you can go turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Wither Bloom Command, mill three, pick up your third land, uh, play your creature on turn three, and then Neoform on turn four. Uh, it's not perfect, or like, uh, I, Something you could do is turn one Otherworldly Gaze, turn two Wither Bloom, killing a creature into turn three, Poots plus Neoform. So there's a lot of different ways that you can skin a cat, right? Um, I'm not convinced that it's correct to not play Abrupt Decay, but I do think that it's definitely worth considering Wither Bloom Command. That's where I'm at. Uh, Swan Song really impressed me against the uh, Lotus Field deck. So I was a little low on Swan Song before we started recording, and now I'm just completely sold. It was better than Mystical Dispute there. So I think you definitely want this card. Um, we didn't really face any dedicated blue decks, so I'm not sure about the Geist, but it's possible that we don't want this either. Uh, like, these could just be two disputes, but I'll leave it as is. The creator of this deck has probably played them for a reason. These were my thoughts. I could be entirely wrong. I played one league. This is my thoughts after a single league, but let me know what you think. Comment down below, and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Keep neoforming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. 
And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.